Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Um, well, you might hear a little noise going on in the background there. That's because I'm doing a lawnmower. I'm sucking the oil out of it. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you. But, uh, okay, I finished up the series on the drop motors. Um, they're still here. Owner still hasn't picked them up. But he's on a salmon tender, so he only comes in town about once a week. But I'm fixing to start another little series on some 15 Johnsons. Um, one of them needs a lower unit, brought to me without a lower unit. One of them's got a busted shift handle. Uh, neither one probably run of those two. Then I got another one in here. The guy brought it in, claims it runs good. But they broke the recoil start on it. They sucked the spring in into the cup. They suck it into the cup. So, but I want to show you this really interesting thing I found uh, on this little 15. Kind of got everything hodgepodge together here. <laughs> but that's not the correct bonnet for it. That's off a of 7 and a, a 7.5. I just laid it over there in case it rained. Well, let me show you this the noise and I'll turn it off. And you've probably seen those setups on YouTube. Um, This mower doesn't have a drain plug, um, but it does have electric start, and I just put a new brand new battery in it. Um, so you take a water bottle, like I said, this is all over YouTube, but anyway, it does work pretty good. You take a water bottle, put a hose through there, stick it in your shop back, it creates a vacuum in the jar, the jar then the hose goes into the oil. Now we'll leave that off. Cause that ain't what I wanted to show you really <laughs> but hey gots to pay the rent but uh, this is what I wanted to show you so here's the little motor stupid camera so here's the little motor I put a recoil starter on it that and you can see 7.5 um but i i asked the guy i said you so you say this thing runs good and he said yeah it runs good and i said so you've started it and ran it in the last week or two well um no not not really I said because I tried to start it and it wouldn't start and I said I think I know why and he said why I want you to look inside this bonnet now I'm just gonna do this lightly with my fingers I'll take that piece out look at this look at that now where where do you think all this goes when you're out there hitting them waves, bumping into the to the big fishing boat, where do you think all that goes? I show you. It goes right into there and right into that carburetor. That's where all this goes and so that carburetor is plugged full of it I'm sure 
and that's why she wouldn't start. That's just hypothesizing. I'm hypothesizing there, but I can see the I can see it all down in there. Just I can see it down in there. I'll get you a piece. See. It's all in that engine. Blobs of it. All down in there. And as you're bouncing around and doing all that stuff, I mean, it's, it's everywhere in this engine. Everywhere. So, the car will have to come off and get clean. So I showed him that, and I said, you can pay me for putting a new pull cord and, you, and fixing your recoil starter and take it if you think it runs good. Well, I mean, I, I'm going by what they said. Well, who's they? Well, the guys that ran it last. Oh, okay. Well... It don't run now. So, we'll get that one tore apart. We'll get that bonnet all cleaned up, scraped off, and coat of something sticky. Probably just regular rattle cam paint. Then I'll show you the other two that are going to be part of this here series. I got that one right there. I pulled the bonnet on it, and it actually looked pretty clean. Um, but it's got a busted shift handle and to replace that you got to pull the power head so while I'm doing that I'll replace the grommets. This guy here will be the third one and as you can see it's missing its bottom. It got no bottom. It missed its bottom. So who knows what we'll find on that one but that's what's going to be coming up. Those right there but at first I got to do that I got to do that and I got a couple chainsaws but I'm gonna work on the outboards first because the guy said they weren't in no hurry so I'll be back this throttle is completely it's not the throttle you can see the cables wanting to move it's the uh, Mags on all salty and everything under there. Ibly. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the carburetor off of it. Which means we take the starter back off again. And set it to the side. Now I can get to my carbonated bolts. This motor is filthy. Filthy, filthy, filthy. She runs good. Not. Not even thinking about running good. And there's both my carburetor nuts. Put them there. 
get a new gasket because that one tore. Did you know they make a special tool for popping them? Things like that. So you don't break them. Now, see the cable works fine. It's nice and free. It's all this what's froze up. <clears throat> Look at all that salt in there and everything. But anyway, if you want to buy that special tool, I doubt you're going to be able to see it. It's part number. Three four two 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 six. So you don't break your little plastic. You can go. But needle nose pliers work just fine. I'm just gonna see if I can get any movement out of it. At least get myself yeah, there it goes. I got some movement. So now I'm gonna just spray some lubricant up under there. Spray a little lubricant right around up under there. Not up like at the electronics, just up under there. Now I can tap it from this brass part here. Come back and tap on the aluminum side. And I'll repeat that process. Got me some nice long nose visor grip. I'm gonna clamp this brass piece here and get that puppy moving. Get her freed up. Breaking pretty good. There. She's loosening right up. Loosening right up. this thing back on. Lined up. And now I can do the throttle. That's not too bad there, but it, it'll loosen up even more. So...
Look at them beauties, huh? Think they ain't been in there a while? I'll be right back. Okay, I gotta move you back here so I can get all this in. I wanna show you what's going on. Make sure I ain't zoomed in. Good. All right. If you look right here, I got the spark checker hooked up. Come on over. What can I do for you? Well, I'm gonna grab that prop that I talked to you. Oh, about. okay. You wanna be in a video? <laughs> sure, I don't care, sure. I got a customer coming to get a prop. I made him a real good deal on it. He just don't know how good yet. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. How you doing, everybody? All right. <laughs> All right. All right. So if you look right here, I got my spark checker. Here's your two. You're going to be looking right here. I'm going to spin it over with my half-inch Milwaukee here, and I'll watch. You can see there's no spark. At least I hope you can see. The sun's kind of bright out here. I'll move you closer. Right, right in those top two. Now I'll magically make spark happen. Watch. No spark. Spark. No spark. So what I was doing, see that zip tie? I pull it out, spark, let it go, no spark. Spark, no spark. So they've got this zip tie in here. Instead of using this, which I'm guessing is, yeah, long gone, well, would you cut that off or just let it, you know, yeah, you, you, you get it right. Okay. Got all kind of spark now. Oh, my buddy's the fisherman. Since everything else on the motor has been, for the most part, a rain wreck, let me uh, go ahead and do a Compressionis. We are on zero. Let's see. This is the top cylinder here. And this is dry. It's about 90, 95, 100, 105 on the top. I haven't squirted anything in the cylinders. And uh, I can just tell by everything being so stuck, frozen, sticky. The motor hasn't been running a long time. Zeroed out. This will be the bottom cylinder. We're looking at a hundred five ten. So one five on the bottom, one ten on top. So. And looky. Oh, 
Okay, she's got compression, she's got spark. Now I'm just gonna uh, get out my air hose and blow this thing off. I won't make you listen to that. I'll be back. It's the car body right out of the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a blow now. Give it a blow. Operate a bit. So now we take pokey thingies. More pokey thingies. Where's my little spring? There we go. And where's my other? I'm looking for pokey thingies. That should be enough. Now, on these rubber things, I like to take a little Vasmaline so they stick in place where they pull to. Then put some on the bowl gasket. I am reusing this bowl gasket. I see nothing wrong with it. 
Put a little Vaseline, clean it up a little bit. Okay, okay. Alrighty. My little pokey thingies. Look at that old float. See them three little holes right in there? Make sure you get them. Put the pokey thing to them. Queeky queek. Even though it's been through the ultrasonic cleaner. You want to get all these little holes cleaned out. Go. Alrighty. And then down in there you got that little tube. Got to get a pokey in there. This one I'll use the bigger pokey thing. Alright, off to the side. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Alrighty. in the seat and the wash steer. Just snug. There's a little one in there you got to clean out. That one's open. This guy ain't. There, now I got it through. That one was good and clogged. Now I can get through both ways. See that salt come out of there? Good bit of it in there. Sure, your little washer seals there. <laughs> and you got to put the little hose on. I'm not all the way down yet. Yeah, yeah. Alright, that's in place. Put on my little e clip needle. She's waking good now. I see a little booger right there though, where I blew that salt out of there. There it is. There.
then we gotta put the little washers on the little screws. Because they always fall off. Then we got to do by the numbers tightening them. This is the bottom's number two. So first, I take my drill gun, I put it on an angle, and just lightly screw them in. So it'll start doing that. Cause you ain't tight enough in doing that. You're just getting rid of all the thread. Now we'll go by the numbers. It says this is number one. Snug just a little bit. Number two. Snug just a little bit. Set of three. Two. One, two, three. Out here at the point. The current. Three. Four. Five. And six. Then we do it again. All right, T, there's my new top gasket that will replace that one. There's my new carb to intake gasket. And there's my new needle and seat. And put a, you can barely see it in there but it's got the little E-clip right there. So that's everything you need for that. Part number 0396521. So, let me go get a cob. I'll be back. Is she a runner or is she a goner? Stay tuned for part two on Inside Outboards with Cody Bass.